Uh, Jason Roundtree, I'm an assistant professor of animal science at Michigan State University. I'm a research I coordinate two research farms for the university, uh, one of which in Lake City, Michigan, the other in Chatham, Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. So the opportunity to come to the Savory, the International Savory Conference and to discuss holistic management and, and look at the impacts it's making globally is especially important and uh, very, uh, I guess, professionally encouraging to me. Without question, I will uh, do that. And that's one thing that's great because of the networking capabilities. Uh, not only seeing uh, different scientists and different research uh, results, but also more of the practical applied things that, that I work with from an outreach standpoint, that being uh, different uh, methods of improving soil biology and soil health, or looking at integrated livestock and cropping systems or stacked enterprise models of differing uh, livestock species. And looking, looking at my career and my goals through a holistic lens, it's, it's really the triple bottom line. It's the nexus of profitability, uh, regenerative, ecological uh, progress, along with societal well-being. And so with that said, it's, it's really not one thing because they're all interrelated. It's all whole under management. And if any of those aspects suffer, then the whole system falls apart. And so for me, uh, it's constantly working towards that triple bottom line. Michigan State University is a great university and I've found people to be very open to new things. And so therefore, with that said, uh, we've had the freedom and the flexibility to begin to implement uh, models that are more transdisciplinary and systems driven. And I find that more faculty are becoming open to that because they're starting to see the impacts of climate change, the impacts of erosion, the impacts on profitability, the fact that we're losing producers in the beef cattle industry right now because of the drought and other things that, that I believe are, are without question, at least partly man-made, if not more so man-made. And so I believe Michigan State's been very open and aware of that. Now, without question, there's always going to be um, friction when you talk about new things. But ultimately, I think that's what a university's for. And it's about talking about new ideas and trying to implement new things and new research and new demonstration, not only for students, but also for our greater clientele out in the landscape.